take this lightly I don't take this lightly and when you get up here when you get up here it's one thing to be singing in the choir it hits you different when you got to preach God's word it hits you differently so you got to come correct hallelujah hallelujah I'm just gonna be real I'm real I'm just real okay my English may not be as etiquette as I will like it to be but it can go there okay I can't do the Kings English okay but we're gonna get down and dirty hallelujah 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 we had prophetess Latina on Friday and we had prophetess Lavanya on Friday so we're gonna conclude the whole thing with minister Ladonna on Sunday something about them LA's Prophet, as I stand corrected. Amen. 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 We, I'm not going to read the whole scripture, so I'm going to skip. If you have your Bibles, and before I do that, I give honor to my pastor, my first lady. Amen. Come on, give them a hand. I thank, I thank my pastor for entrusting me for, to being up here, for seeing what in, what's in me. Because sometimes we don't see what's in us. Hallelujah. I'm just be real. I'm just going to be real. But I'm here to encourage you to ignite you, to empower you, as well as myself. Hallelujah. We're going to go to 1 Samuel. We're going to hit 5. If you have your Bibles and you're there, say, I'm there. Amen. And the word of the Lord says, we're going to start at 5. It says, but unto Hannah he gave a worthy portion for he loved Hannah, but the Lord had shut up her womb. Then we're going to go to six. And her adversary also provoked her sore for to make her fret because the Lord had shut 
her womb. Yeah. Then we're going to go to seven. And as he did so year by year, when she went to the house of the Lord, so she provoked her. Therefore, she wept and did not eat. Yeah. Now we're going to go to the 12th chapter. And it says, and it came to pass as she continued praying before the Lord that Eli mocked her mouth. And 13 says, now Hannah, she spake in her heart. Only her lips moved, but her voice had not heard. Therefore, Eli thought she had been drunken. Now we're going to skip to 19. This is going to be it. And they rose up in the, mor er, in the morning early and worshiped before the Lord and returned and came to their house and to Ramah. And Alkina knew Hannah, his wife, and the Lord remembered her. The last verse it says, Wherefore it came to pass when the time was come about after Hannah had conceived yeah. that she bared a son and called his name Samuel saying because I had asked him asked him of the Lord yes, and we're going to pray spirit of the living God fall fresh on us in the name of Jesus God as LaDonna decrease God you show up you do what you do best. God, I thank you for using me as a vessel. I just want to say thank you, oh God. Now, God, I'm asking you to bless my sisters and my brothers, Lord God. As I give to them what you gave to me in the late night hour. Lord God, let my sisters and brothers be empowered, encouraged, ignited to keep running this race and not give up. God, we thank you and we praise you. And we praise you. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, my strength and my redeemer. And God, we thank you and we praise you. And we give you the glory and the honor because the honor belongs to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You all can have your seats. I read this script. I was, <laughs> I was torn between two subjects. I prepared one, and that didn't work out. I, prepared, I said, oh, Lord, I am in distress, Jesus. And I remember the first, my sister, real quick, she had told me, she said, Donna, why are you, why is you fretting? Why? She said, go to back to your first sermon that you preached because you preached it in 2019, but it's different now. Same word, different outcome. I'm a different person from 2019 to now. You get a different mindset from reading, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want in one year. And you read, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want the next year is a whole different thing because of the different mindset. A lot of stuff has transpired at that time. So I'm coming to you today to encourage you. Don't let what God put in you stop you. And if I took a side note, I would say, don't let what God put in you because you got too much in you. You got too much in you. Hallelujah. So now we know the story about Hannah. I'm sure all you all know about, about Hannah. Okay, we know about Hannah. We know that she was Samuel's, the prophet's mama. Elkina's wife. And she was, she was bearing, God shut her wound and she was bearing. And out of desperation, she prayed unto God to give her a son. Hannah promised and made a vow to God that, he would get, that she would give Samuel back to him if she was able to conceive. My God, my God. The Bible says she wept sore 
and was grieved and to make manners worse. She was bothered by Elkina's other wife, Miss Panina. Now I'm gonna help you out with Miss Panina. Panina provoked Hannah to she where she didn't eat. Now you know if we was in those times right now, I'm just gonna be real with you. I'm just gonna be real. Panina would get knocked to sleep. I'm just being real. She would get knocked because anytime you allow somebody to stop you from eating because they're, they're, they're just taunting you. Yeah. Now, you know you can't conceive. Penina had children. Mm. Hannah didn't. Right. You know, I'm, you, I mean, come on. Right. I'm suffering over here, and yet you going to provoke me? Yeah. Catch me on a given day, you going to provoke the wrong side. Uh -huh. Slow walking and slow music playing. Hallelujah. I'm just being real. I'm just being real. Help me, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And she did this year after year after year. Anytime Hannah went to the house of God, there was Penina. There was Penina. There was Penina. That's like having something... How to say a tissue paper on your foot and you walk and it keeps walking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. There was Penina. <laughs> okay, I'm just saying. I'm trying to build a case to let you know the 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 how she suffered, how Hannah suffered, yeah. what she went through, how she endured. Now I can imagine, and, and she was married to uh, uh, Elkina. I can imagine eavesdropping on their conversation and between Elkina and, and Hannah. And Elkina said, I give you a double portion. Yeah. Yeah. I give you a double portion. Am I enough of 10 sons? Yeah. 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 And I can imagine Hannah said, you're my husband, but you're not my son. There's a difference. There's a difference. Today, I'm going to encourage you on three points. Now, I'm going to see if you can catch it. All right. Wait, so Hannah was waiting, isolating, and navigating. And at the end, if you spell those two first, lady, first letters together, you'll get the word when. I will repeat it one more time. Hannah was waiting, she isolated, and she navigated. And at the end, she wins. So anytime you go through this life, you got to wait. Most of us don't like to wait. I don't like to wait sometimes. I don't like to wait. It bothers me sometimes I gotta wait. And I remember growing up, and I'm telling my age, I, when I was growing up, when we popped popcorn, we didn't have that microwave stuff. We put that on a skillet, put some oil in it, and start shaking it like this. And it took about 10, it takes about 10 minutes for, for the popcorn to come up. And then, now we got, Microwave, two minutes is done. We do not like to wait. We want to rush God. God, I've been waiting long enough. She got hers. I've been waiting long, but that's not you. You keep waiting. But Lord, I, I, I mean, I'm saved and sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I run the floor. Okay. Your point being what? You wait. You wait. Wait, wait, wait. In the scripture in Psalms 27, 14, it says, wait on the Lord and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. It's going to get hard, just like it did for Penina. I don't know how long she waited, but she waited long enough that she was grieved at heart. 
Sometimes, sometimes the stuff that's in it grieves us because it's like, okay, I know you put this in me, but you know, it's not coming. It's not, you wait. So in that waiting period, you're in the state of being humbled. In that waiting period, you learn patience. In that waiting period, you learn faith. It develops and builds your strength for what's inside of you. You can't bake a cake and expect it to be done just like that. You got to wait because all of those ingredients have to connect all together. And if it comes out too soon, I'm just saying, if it comes out too soon, it's going to be a mess. And what you got to do, start all over again. And then what you got to do again, wait again. We got to wait again. If we did it right the first time, we didn't have to wait again. Hallelujah. I hope I'm helping somebody. Amen. Amen. So now we're going to move to the isolation. And I said, Lord, this, this, is, this is it right here because sometimes I have to isolate. Yeah. We isolate. In this stage, we learn to do, we learn to shut our mouths. Uh -oh. We got to shut our mouths. Yeah. We can't talk all the time. Come on. You can't talk all the time. How are you going to hear God if you're talking all the time? I'm just saying. I had to learn that. When we talk, and I, I, a prime example, I used to do that until I, then I, if you know better, you do better. I would pray in the morning. Lord, 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 whatever, whatever, whatever. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And I was done. Off my knees, I'm about my day. Okay, I said what I had to say. And I'm just imagining God, I'm like, hold up. You think I ain't had nothing to say back? You didn't think I want to say anything? You think I just want to hear you talk all the time and I don't say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And in this stage of isolation, we also learn the instructions of God. In this stage of isolation, we, 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 we begin to learn God's will, God's plan, and God's timing. Yes. Our timing is not God's timing. His ways is not our ways. Please don't think it is, because you're going to be disappointed. If you want that Cadillac here right now, and you didn't get it right now, it ain't God's fault. It's your fault. Because you expect it right then and there. He's like, I didn't I'll tell you, I'll give it to you. But I didn't tell you when I'll give it to you. You got to understand, I'll get, yes, I'll give you the desire. Yes, I will. But I know when. I know when. You can't hurry me because you may not be ready for that Cadillac. You may not be ready for that million dollars. You just not, might not be ready because if you get it prematurely, you lose it. Because what? You were not cultivated. You didn't listen. You wasn't patient. You didn't hear what he had to say. Hallelujah. And also in this state, you learn to get a closer relationship with God. Because you shut out everybody, all the noise. You go into your prayer closet. You go into your prayer closet where ain't nobody there but you and God. And like, Lord, come on. I'm struggling. I'm going to be real with you. I need some help. I don't know which way to turn. I got to isolate because they're coming from over here. They're coming from over there. They're coming from the front. They're coming from the back. God. They, they coming after me. But see, the thing about it is, I know what's inside of me because I'm walking out on faith. Yes. I'm protecting what's on the inside. Because what we have on the inside, whether you know it or not, it costs a high price. That's right. It costs blood, 
sweat, and tears. And believe me, baby, it wasn't y'all's. It wasn't y'all's. It was not y'all. So you got to protect what's on the inside of you. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, don't let go. God put too much in you. Tell your neighbor, don't let go. God put too much in you. Don't you let go because God put something in you. One more time. Say it with an attitude. Don't be like playing around with them. Say, look here. Don't you let go. Because God put something inside of you. Hallelujah. 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 And the scripture comes to mind. Psalms 91 where it says, He that dwells in the secret place. That gets me every time just right about there he that dwells in the secret place I'm dwelling so I'm walking around in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty that's when you're in that secret place that isolation place Hallelujah. And I remember a song that says, Now, let's have a little talk with Jesus. Tell him all about our troubles. He will hear our faintest cry. He will answer by and by. And when we feel the prayer wheels turning, you will feel the fire burning. Let's have a little talk with Jesus. And it'll make it all right. It'll make it all right. It'll make it all right. It will make it all right. Guarantee you ain't going through this for nothing. It's not for nothing. It's not the gifts that God put inside of you. It's not for nothing. It ain't like God has like, well, I ain't got nothing to do, so I'll give it. No, there's a purpose. There's a purpose why he put that in you. There's a plan why he put that yeah. in you. Yeah. That's why you got to go to that secret place to learn his instructions. Hear what he has to say. And I'm just about done because I only had three points. Hallelujah. Navigation. Now this one right here, I had to really ask God about navigation. Navigation is when you learn how to control your emotions. You got to navigate how to control your navigation because everything does not need you to say anything. Everything does not need your attention. You got to learn how to navigate and stay focused because if you realize, I gave you three points. They're like three, tri women, women have three trimesters. Am I right? I think I remember that. The first, the second, and the third. Your navigation is the third. That means you got to stay focused. For men, for, not for men, but for women. Hallelujah. <laughs> to get you here. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 We're in that third, tri within that church, third trimester of navigation. So we have to focus because the enemy right then, because you done made it through the first one, you waited. You made it through the second one, you isolated. He couldn't get you with the weight. He couldn't come at you because you were still standing strong. Like, she's still standing. She's still praying. I, really? You still, after I'm done, she's, yes. She's isolated. That means I can go in there while she by herself, but she thinks she by herself. I can go and sneak in. She ain't paying me no mind. What? What, what, what's, what's, what's going on? You made it to the third. The navigation. And he realized, wait a minute, I didn't knock her off her square. So you got to pay attention because his intentions is for you to lose focus. And to get you out of <laughs> character. 
I'm like, Lord, I'd have, I said, see, now you done walked up my back on that one. Because sometimes people will make you just go there and get out. Of, I look, I tell them I'm saved and sanctified, but I'm not stupid. And I tell them, catch me on the wrong day. And I got to go repent because you know what? I done knocked you to sleep. Because you done provoked me. You done, I, but see, in that place, I can't have that distraction because if I'm, dis if I'm getting distracted of being angry yeah. and focusing my attention on what I'm provoked, I won't concentrate and focus on what God has for me. See, he'll come real smooth on you. Real smooth. Where you get to a place like, wait a minute, how did I get here? I was supposed to be I'm supposed to be navigating my emotions. I'm supposed to be focusing. And just like that, you'll lose focus real quick. You'll get distracted real quick. Like they said, squirrel, what? Distracted. So you have to be able to navigate. You have to be in fine tune with God. Fine tune. I mean, prayer, Pastor was talking about being, you, got, you got to turn up. And if that's the wrong frequency, you need to go a little higher and turn it up some more. Hallelujah. And just like Penina and Hannah. Penina, after Penina did all this dirty stuff to her, taunted her, belittled her, agitated her, got on her last nerve. If you notice and you read, Hannah did not say nothing. She didn't say one word. She didn't come at Penina and say, look here, you know what? I'm about to have enough for you. It's time, okay, because you know this is too much. Yeah. Hannah did not say nothing. And I can imagine in Hannah mind, she was like, I'm not gonna have her to knock me off my square because I got too much in me. Come on. Yeah. Right. That's right. Yeah. You're not gonna make me lose what I got in me. Do whatever you want. Say whatever you want. Whisper whatever you want. But you're not going to make me lose what God put in me. I'm just saying. I done been through too much. I done cried. I done prayed. I done snot. I done waited. I done wait. And you going to come at the end and make me want to lose what I got in? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's not going to happen. So when you go through those trials and tribulations, get, look, get your gangster on. Uh-huh, that's right. That's right. That's right. Get your gangster on. Come on. You be like, look here. I done done all of this. Come on. I done done all of this. You weren't there when I was waiting. You wasn't there when I was travailing. Wondering if my children are going to come home or not. You wasn't there when I had to wait. When I didn't believe if I was called. On, you, you just wasn't there. But you're going to come. And then when I was isolating. You wasn't there either. I didn't see you there. When I had to cry unto God. When I had to cry. You wasn't there. So you going to have the audacity. The colossal nerve. To come in my face, to try to, try, try to distract me, try to turn me around. I got too much in me. See, you should have got me in the waiting stage. You should have got me then. But you messed around. And when I, I passed the waiting stage, you should have got me when I isolated because I was there by myself. You should have got me then. But see, now that I have been empowered, enlightened, encouraged, excited, now that I know I got something in me now, something in me now and I ain't gonna let no devil in hell 
to make me turn around, to make me let go, to make me let go, is too much in me. It's too much in you to have him to come and knock you off your square. So the next time he comes at your face and want to knock you off your square, you say, uh-uh, greater is he that's in me than he is in the world. And then you hit him with another scripture. I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. And I guarantee you, if it don't strengthen you, something wrong, you must be, look, you must be null and void. Something must be wrong. But I need you to get your game. So I'm like, look, uh -uh, I'm fighting for this. I'm fighting for this. Just like David went in to ask the Lord, Lord, shall I pursue? Hey, Lord, shall I pursue this? Shall I pursue this that you gave? Shall I pursue this? And then when we don't say nothing, he'll tell you, go pursue and recover it all. So everything that you got in you, you tell him, I ain't letting go. I ain't giving out. I ain't selling short. I ain't going to diminish. I ain't going to belittle myself. I ain't going to hide myself. I am not going to be in a oh, curled up line. I am not because what? I got too much in me. I owe God what's in me. I owe him. I owe because look, he paid for it. I Oh, he trusted me with it. Yeah. He trusted you with it. Yeah. Don't you sit there. 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 Yeah. And sit on what God gave you. Yeah. You better not let it go. As your sister, I'm going to tell you, you better not let it go. Yeah. You better not treat my God like that. You better not let it go. If you gotta cry through it, you better not let it go. If you gotta be in pain, don't you let that thing go. If you just doubt yourself, don't you let it go. Don't you let it go. If you let it go, I'm coming for you. Because we family. I ain't let nobody let it go. So in the morning, even when you get up out of here, you say, look here, I've been empowered because I've waited, I've isolated, I've waited, and I've isolated, and then I navigated, and at the end, my end results, because I did not let go, guess what? I win. So when you go through trials and tribulations, when you go through trials and tribulations, wait, isolate, and navigate. Because I guarantee you, just like God told David to pursue, you're going to recover it all. And he won. The same way he's going to work it out for you. And lastly, since we talked, and I'm done after this, to give you a tidbit, because I read this and it blew my mind. After, Pen after Penina had taunted Hannah, I mean sore, and I read it and it was called a, uh, a reddish, it's uh, the Jewish uh, perception of interpretation. Y'all can go look it up to make sure I'm right, okay? It said that every child that Hannah bore, and I believe Hannah had three sons and one daughter, Every child that Hannah had, Penina buried. Every child that Hannah bore for Hannah's diligence, Penina buried. God don't play about his people. God don't play about his people. Don't worry who does what, says what against you. My grandmother always said, God keeps good records. 
He keeps good records. Don't look, don't, don't. You stay focused. You stay focused. God got your back. Because just like he did Penina and Hannah, she bore children. And Penina lost. You may not see when they lose. You may not see when they lose. But they're going to lose. Because uh, touch not my prophet. Touch my, my anointed. And do my prophet no harm. Don't touch the people of God. You don't know who you touching when you touch them. You don't know who you playing with when you touch the people of God. They think they may have gotten away. They think they may have gotten away. But the word of the Lord said, vengeance is mine, said the Lord. I'm going to repay. So you hold on to that gift that's inside of you. Don't you let it go. Don't you sell out. Don't you give in. Don't you turn away. Don't you turn away. You stay focused. You keep pushing. You push. You pray until something happens. You push and pray. You push and pray. You push and pray. I heard you, God. You push and pray. You push and pray. You push and pray. And, pray. and then at the end, I guarantee you, you're going to win. Pray, my strength and Lord. Come on, everybody. Stand up on your feet and give God praise for the words you have received.